So whenever we've got parallel lines and we've got a line that goes through the middle of the parallel lines, so this line here, these two are the parallel lines um, depicted by the arrows. Sometimes the arrows are on them like that. Um, this line is going through the parallel lines. What happens is we end up with the same angles being created here as the angles being created here. These two angles are the same as these two angles. And these two angles are the same as these two angles. So we end up with all of the big angles being the same and all the little angles also being the same. Whenever we've got two angles, the same one here is the same one here. So the top one here and the top one here, um, they said to correspond. So corresponding angles, they're called corresponding angles are equal. And whenever we're answering a question, we need to be able to give our reasons. So corresponding angles are equal. The same one here is the same one here. The same one here, this one corresponds to this one here. And the same way this one corresponds to this one, and this one corresponds to this one. Uh, another important relationship that you should know is angles in a straight line are up to 100 degrees. So angles in a straight line, line add up to 180 degrees. So any straight line along here, so the white one and the red one, always add up to 180 degrees. So that's again important for me to give our reasons of why um, an angle is what we say it is. Okay, another type of angles are called alternate angles. So we need to be able to identify alternate angles. Um, and there are any angles that make a Z shape. So this one and this one are alternate angles. So alternate angles. are equal as well. Another type of angles are opposite angles. So the two ones opposite each other are equal. The two ones opposite each other are always equal. So opposite angles are equal. Okay, so let's look at an example. So let's say this one was 140 degrees. And we wanted to work out this one over here. Um, so there's always a lot of different ways you can go about this. So many different ways of getting to the same answer. We could say that this one's 140 because opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. And then X is 140 degrees because corresponding angles are equal. These two are the same one, they correspond. Corresponding angles are equal. Angles are equal for all four writing. Again, there's always so many different ways of going about this. So we can go, this one's 40 because angles in a straight line. Angles in a straight line out to 180 degrees. Straight line. Add to 180. And then this one's 40 because corresponding angles are equal. I just write corresponding for now. And then this one's 140 because angles on a straight line. On a straight line. Add up to 180 degrees. To 180. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of other ways we could have done it. Um, we could have said, it's right in blue this time. So this one's 40 because the angle's in a straight line. And then here we've got alternate angles to make that one 40 as well. So those two are alternate angles. So alternate. And then angle's in a straight line. So there, there's always lots of different ways, but the important thing is um, you give reasons why you've got to the answer you've got to. Okay, so here's a different example. We've got 130 degrees here, and we've got X here. Um, again, there's so many different ways we can we can approach it. We can go angles in a straight line, so 
50 degrees angles on a straight line add up to 180 on a straight line as to 180 and then we've got here we've got corresponding angles so x is 50 because these two they're the same one they're corresponding corresponding angles are equal angles are equal that's one way of doing it let's let's do a different way we'll have this one 50 degrees again angles in a straight line so the same reason as as here and then we've got alternate angles so x is 50 because alternate angles are equal angles are equal and we could have 130 here because opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal should have done that in a different color really um so we'll go with that one 130 there and then this what these two i'm not sure if i've told you this one but, uh, they're called co-interior angles so whenever you go up a parallel line across the straight line and then down a parallel line they add up to 180 degrees because you've done a full turn you've started going up there gone along there and you're going back the same way you came so that's 180 degrees so we can say x is 50 because co-interior angles are add to 180 add to 180 degrees again you can see there's so many different ways of approaching the same question uh, it's about being able to explain how you've got there that's the important thing okay here's a different example and what makes this one challenging is there's two lines going through the parallel lines so we only ever look at one at a time so if we're looking at let's try and color it in red without messing it up too much the red line goes through the parallel lines and let's color the other one in blue the blue line goes through the parallel lines so x is on the red line so we're going to look at the red line here this blue line it's a bit misleading it's it's not actually serving a purpose in this question we want to look at this red line going through the parallel lines and then these angles are equal to these angles if we were looking at the blue line these angles are equal to these angles but that's not important if we want to find x so again there's lots of different ways of doing this question i'll go for this is 85 angles on a straight line add up to 180 so angles on a straight line add to 180 and then these two are the same angle they're corresponding angles so x is 85 because corresponding angles are equal Okay, here's a question. Give it a go. Give this one a go. Try and find out what X is and give reasons for your answer. Okay, so we can go with 40 degrees here, angles on a straight line. Straight line, add to 180. And then X is 40 because corresponding angles are equal. are equal uh, of course there's different ways of doing it let's do a different way let's go 140 here opposite angles are equal and then x is 40 because co-interior angles add to 180 we could also have 40 angles in this reason <laughs> angles in a straight line add, add up to 180 degrees and then alternate angles are equal x is 40 because alternate, alternate angles are equal um so yeah there's different combinations but for one of these reasons or maybe even maybe even a different reason so we should have with x is 40 and reasons for your answer.